Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to A Kenyan Family. My name is Sylvia, but you can call me Slavi. So if you are new here, Karibu Sana, feel at home. Yeah. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> so in today's video, it's a story time. And it's as you have seen from the topic. So it's a story time about my first interview and the tips that you, you need to know when going to an interview, whether it's your first or yeah. So I my first I had my first interview like it's like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So this is how it went. It was on that it was on thursday thursday before 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 easter friday it's when i applied for this it's internship stroke attachment but what i wanted was attachment so i just applied that same day and on that same day they called me actually it's a big company here in kenya so yeah i applied that same thursday and that same thursday they phoned me, they asked me some questions, like, is it your first internship? I said, yes. Things of the sort. Then they said, okay, let me, she said, let me con consult from my, my manager. Then I'll get back to you on Tuesday. Because there was that long holiday till Tuesday. Okay. So, Tuesday came. And that time I was at home. Tuesday came, they have not communicated. Wednesday, so Wednesday I said, ah, let me get back because I wanted to put a chance in Peter, you know, being aggressive and all that. Mm -hmm. So Nika called. Actually, I texted. So they said, okay, and we'll send back the, we'll send you the link for the interview. Ah, Nika Shanga, attachment interview. So Friday came. Remember that time I was at home and I had my last paper on Thurs on Friday. So I had to go back to school that same Friday. So on Friday was my last paper. You know, we had I saw that I have this long break, a break of over a week to my last paper so i decided i must turn on the insta let me just go home so that friday was the same day i was supposed to travel to go back to school because my exam was at 4 pm so sinivo nikasema i'll travel on friday that friday at around 10 when i was taking a shower preparing to go to school i come back i get like five missed calls from them that is how the chance has slipped me. Eh, I call them back. They are not taking like two, like two times. They are not picking up the calls. Eh, I knew it's over for me. Tasa, they called. They called back. Delightfully, or should I say, Uzuri, they called back. So they called back. They said. Hi Sylvia, are you okay? Yeah, we have we are sending you the link for the interview. You have an interview today at twelve thirty. Imagine they are calling you on the same day, a few hours to the interview, telling you you have the interview. Surely, remember it's my first interview. I've never had an interview before. I think yeah, that was my first. Interview. So this was my first serious interview. Well, hey, sister, they said, are you available at 12, 12, 30? I said, yes. Remembering, I was doing, I remembering very well, most likely, you 12, 30, I'll be on the matatu on my way back to school. What? But siku taka kupoteza chance, I just had to say, yes, ntaku available. So kasema, okay, I'm sending you the link. So I said, okay. So I had to leave home. Iyo, Iyo, very immediate time. 
at around 10 30. so on the, so in, when they told me Ivo Tunika, i called my sister who has been to very many interviews and he paid tweets and he did the questions most likely to answer what to do yes so see, i can pay tips on the matatu but we continued with the with the pre-interview what to do what to say when asked this bit of crazy eh i am truly prepared although it was it was a flick one hour i ah can be a pta cv in a pta cv eh okay so i have panicked young girls and they don't panic Kumbuka it's my first interview. Ntako saaji ya kupani kushwali. Yeah. So ni, the, 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 the link was sent. When the link was sent, it was saying the meeting will be from 12, 12, 15 to 12, 30. Ah, nika shanga suliku umesema 12, 30. So I knew perfectly well that 12, 15, itanipata kama sijafika town. And my plan was, Nifike town, Niki, Nifike town, then I look for a quiet place to sit so that I can do the interview from. So it's, it was 12, like 12 o'clock on dot. And sorry, I got distracted, kiddo. So I forgot to make a wapi. Yeah, to equal it. So it was 12, 12 on dot. And I'm still like 20 minutes away from town. Yeah, see, I knew how even I knew I will not make it. So it got 12.15. 12.15 still I'm not yet in town. I'm at a place called Mailime. You know, it's not so far, but it's not near up here to town. Yeah. What I did, so I just... I just we were at my line, yeah. Then I saw uh something like a hotel on on this on my right side. Eh, I just told the driver, Shukisha ni mefika. Because my plan was I go sit there, have the interview from that hotel. So I wanted like a quiet place. So Nika Shukisha. Going there, I find the hotel, it's like a hotel stroke bar. I don't know what you call those those hotels hey see it's lounge or what hey so I remember it was on a friday getting there i find music they had already started putting the music they had already put the music on hey so what should i do because this noise obviously will be heard it was not that loud but in case kika too and the, that place had speakers all over every corner it had the inside part and the now the inside part was like the bar then the outside is like the hotel so everywhere there is there are those speakers and the music is hard huh. so i just saw so and tapping on the link for the interview i saw that that the interviewer is in the meeting with another person so i saw ah i still have some time let me just go take a border border tell him to take me to another silent place Jindion, aha, Costa Pauli. so taking the border still negotiating with the border border where, where he'll take me i the interviewer now comes to the meeting saying sylvia are you there hey my heart missed a bit. I panicked. I just started walking. Walking, walking, going towards some place there. Even I don't know the place, but it was like a residential place. So I just saw a place like a shed. And there is a road there. Not a busy road, but just a road where motorbikes are passing and personal vehicles and also people passing. Yeah, so she just said, let me just sit on this shed and do my interview from here. Imagine the struggle, Saki. So, sitting there, 
um, the interviewer says, Sylvia, I can hear some background noises. Please look for a quiet place before the, the head of finance joins us. Hey, imagine I was so desperate. Hadi, I wanted to go and knock on someone else's gate so that they can allow me get because that place was a residential place. Like, so I wanted to go knock even to oh, knock on someone's gate so that they can let me in. I panicked. So the HR, imagine kwayo harakati badu na zunguka. I'm just, Aki, what was I doing? Junlikuwa na zunguka, zunguka tu, I don't know what to do. So, the, the, she said she came, she had, the HR has just joined us and I can still hear some background noises. So, I just said, Aki, just give me, unfortunately, um, Nini, in many part of town, just give me five minutes. Let me look for a quiet place so they're like should we hang up nini nini eh Apropo, i'm just seeing my chance already of losing this this job yeah. so i just what i just did i said it's an option i just go back to that hotel tell them to to put down the music i think it's been me i think when i'm small because i could have just done that from the word go so see, I went, I, I told them, give me five minutes, I'll, I'll be in a quiet place. So I went to that place. I told them, the people there, Aki, please, I have a meeting. Can you just put down your music for, for like 10 minutes? The lady there had some attitude. Hmm? The music at a still loud. See, mesha punguza. Sibi ni kambia, Aki punguza tu tena, Aki nikona meeting agent and it attended to only 10 minutes she agreed so we started the interview so the interview started on well they asked me where what i'm doing where i am right now i answered perfectly well they asked they asked me like why i want the internship i told them now they got to the career part. In the career part, actually, guys, let me tell you, never lie on your CV. So see, they were using my CV. So my CV, they, there is something I had lied there about volunteering as a storekeeper at some place. Hey. So they got to the CV. They got to the CV and asked, Sylvia, I can see here you volunteered as a storekeeper you, you volunteered in a store on this period can you explain to us what exactly you are doing monday to friday when you get to the office hey now stay panicking but uh, it was not a video it was just audio hey remember i had actually i just blame my sister she did not take me through that part because I had not really, really prepared on that part. I was that was the least expected question I was expecting. Ju, Ju, it, it's that that part of work is not something related to my career, so I never expected them to ask me. Yeah. So I just fumbled, fumbled, fumbled. So they said. Sylvia, tell us exactly what you are doing. I'm just there fumbling with words. Aki. I just felt my heart drop. I just knew it's over for me. Aki. It went so that part and that was the last question actually. So they said, Okay, Sylvia, we will get back to you. But me myself knowing knowingly myself knowing I had performed very poorly on that question so they said okay we'll get back to you have any question for us i asked nini yeah they said okay thank you for your time so that is how my interview my first interview went imagine sasa they've never communicated from the two weeks ago till sahi it was on 22nd till sahi today is on on 9th I think that is how I lost my chance 
and that is how my first interview was <sighs> so guys what i just want to tell you before going to the interview please go through your cv very well because they just get a question from there and ask you and you start fumbling and it's the things on your cv and then you just don't lie please just say the truth because now see where lying got me to but if you lie yes if you lie please go well through your cv and make sure make sure was telling it will be locked up from your cv yeah so that's my experience on my first interview oh yeah hope you've liked this video and it was somehow of a help and entertaining to you if you've not subscribed please subscribe yeah and for those who have subscribed thank you for your subscriptions <laughs> till next time bye